Hi, I'm Lisa Vanderbilt with LVC Ministries, and I'm so glad that you are here with me today because we are going to be talking about the armor of God and getting dressed for battle. There is an unseen battle going on all around us, and if you can imagine this battle between Satan and his demons and God and his angels, this battle is going on all around us all the time. And if you could imagine going into a battle where you're not dressed, that would just be horrible because you're going to be really beaten up. And we do this all the time when we're not dressed for battle. We go unprepared and we've got to get into God's Word. In Ephesians 6, 13 through 17, it tells us how to get dressed for battle. And so I'm going to read from God's Word and we're going to find out how to go through all the pieces of God's armor and find out how to put them on. I'll be reading from the NIV version, which says, Therefore put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything, to stand. Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all of this, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Now, first of all, you've got to take a stand, face the enemy, plant your feet, and remember that there is no backside on your armor, because you cannot run from the enemy. You've got to take a stand and realize that there is an enemy. If you do not think that, that there is a devil, then you have been defeated already. Satan is not the guy with the pointy horn and the little spear and a red tail. You've got to realize that he truly does exist. If you do not think that Satan is real, then you have been defeated already. Uh, you've got to know his schemes and realize that Greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. Now I'm going to speak through all the different parts of the armor of God from head down because it helps me when, especially when I go through and pray the armor of God on. And that's what the whole point of this blog is, so that you can remember to pray the armor of God on every day. Because if we don't get dressed for battle every day, then... You know, we're going to be leaving ourselves vulnerable. So the helmet of salvation is going to cover our mind. And that uh, is where the, big, the battle is. That's the biggest battle is in your mind. And what we've got to do is cast down wrong thinking. Those thoughts that come into our mind, that the lies that Satan puts in our mind, have got to be cast down and, and be uh, obedient to Christ. And I've got an example for you. This is from a blog that I wrote not too long ago on the power of the Holy Spirit, which was um, on March 8, 2012. And uh, this example is, I was at work and there was someone who was really frustrating me. And I just, I wanted to go to their boss and just tell them what I thought. And I know that uh, Satan was putting these lies into my head. And um, this person was just really getting on my nerves and you know we've all got someone like that who really kind of grinds against us and I had been forgetting at the time to pray on the armor of God and thankfully I had been I had started back praying the armor of God on and that day I had prayed the armor of God on and this frustration had come upon me and I you know it was the thoughts were hitting me and I just all of a sudden, the Holy Spirit put into my mind, no, you don't have to say anything to anybody. And in, in a moment, you know, I just thought, you're right, I don't. I don't have to say anything. And that frustration just went away. It was just, in a, in a second, it, it just dissolved. And it, it was the greatest feeling. I just, it was the power of the Holy Spirit came over me, and I knew it was from the prayers that I had prayed. And... That is victorious living. That is what I want you to experience. Because we don't have to live a defeated life in Christ. We have the power of the Holy Spirit within us. And that's what, 
That's why I'm here. I want you to experience that same thing. And we have the Holy Spirit within us, and we, when we get dressed for battle every day, we can experience and you can experience the same thing. The breastplate of righteousness is the next piece of armor, and that covers your heart, and that is the seat of all your emotions. That's going to rain in, you need to rein in all of that fear and worry and anger and any kind of hatred. And just like in that last example where I had that, all that frustration, you know, we can ask the Holy Spirit to, to rein all those emotions in. And love is such an important uh, emotion. We can ask God to show us His love for us so that we can walk in love towards others. The belt of truth is knowing the truth of God's Word, knowing Jesus Christ as the truth, and knowing who you are in Christ. It is so important to know who you are in Christ. You are the righteousness of God in Christ. You are God's child as a Christian. You are adopted. You are redeemed. You are forgiven. You are God's workmanship. You are a saint. Don't let Satan steal your heritage. The shoes of the gospel of peace is the next piece of armor. And we need to walk in the peace to avoid battles. Now it takes two to battle. So if you are walking in peace, you are not going to battle. Just like Jesus, when he was going through all of those trials, he didn't battle. He didn't say anything. He just stayed quiet. And that avoided battles. So Jesus has told us that he gave us his peace. He has given us his peace mm -hmm. already. So all we need to do is walk in his peace that he has given us. And we just need to do that in the power of the Holy Spirit. And when we walk in the Spirit, we can walk in his peace. Now the shield of faith is the next piece of the armor. And the, this shield is one of the big shields. It's not one of those small shields. And these big shields are going to extinguish all of the fiery darts of the enemy. So when you get behind that shield of faith, then that is going to extinguish all of those fiery darts. So God is going to also grow your faith. And when he grows your faith, then just remember that you, when you go to a higher level, you're going to get a bigger devil. The sword of the Spirit is the Word of God. And we've got to speak the Word of God out loud, just like Jesus did when he was tempted by Satan in the desert. We can speak the Word of God out loud when we're being tempted by Satan as well. And the Word of God also breaks down strongholds. So when we have addictions, we can speak the Word of God out loud and break down those strongholds as well. The Word of God is also a filter, and everything that comes into our mind has got to be filtered by the Word of God. So it's so important to be in this Word and to know it. And we also should encourage others with the Word of God. Not only should we encourage them, but we've got to share this good news, this gospel, with other people because they've got to come to know who Christ is, and we've got to share this Word with them. Now, this armor of God that we've been talking about gives you strength against the enemy. We've got to pray it on every day because whether you pray it on or not, you are still in a battle. And you can read my blog titled Getting Dressed for Battle at www.lvcministries.com. It's dated April 14, 2011. I would like to say a prayer for you to help you to see what I do in the mornings to uh, put on the armor of God. So. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask that you would give me the strength to stand and fight any battles that come my way today. I put on the helmet of, to protect my mind from any thoughts that are not of you. Help me to recognize them and cast them down. I want to think on things that are true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, excellent and praiseworthy. These are the things I want to think on. I put on the breastplate of righteousness which covers my heart and my emotions. Help me to see your love for me so I can walk in love towards others. 
I put on the belt of truth, knowing the truth of your word, knowing your Son, who is the truth, and knowing the truth of who I am in Christ. I put on the shoes of peace. I choose to walk in the peace that you have given me today. I take up the shield of faith, which will extinguish all the fiery darts of the enemy. I ask that you grow my faith as I walk in your ways. And I take up the sword of the Spirit as I read your word today. Teach me, Lord. Write your word upon my heart so I can speak it throughout the day. Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Help me to speak the truth of the gospel to others so they may know, come to know you personally. Thank you, Jesus. It's in your name that I pray. Amen.